hi hi there guys i tried to open it graciously but it's too heavy for me to open it like this you know easy lightweight bamboo doors or whatever that could be because it's a container let me tell you one thing we are so so sorry that we're late again because our camera charger exploded long story short due to really big uh current fluctuations here on the island they sometimes pump electricity and it makes your electronics explode. We became smarter and we bought a power converter or whatever you call that big box, the controls, the power dosage and now we can charge your stuff safe and we're back and we have big updates. So let's go, I'll show you around and let's start with actual door. We have a gigantic update for you guys. The sexy, sexy 20 foot containers. <laughs> it doesn't look smooth, it doesn't look smooth at all. Probably the biggest first question is, well, we've moved forward quite a bit. So the door right next to me, we were able to install doors sliding doors actually. Let's start with the issue number one because nothing ever goes smoothly. Issue number one then. We were trying to attach the door to the metal first because the guys from the glass company said that it is possible to do that. We trusted them but when they came here drill was not powerful enough to cut through this very strong steel so we had to find an alter alternative and we had to put wood in the container brackets to be able to attach the sliding doors but we have succeeded and we really have door and it starts to look like a house almost the issue with this is that the door is a bit lower because when it was measured they measured it right to fit in the frame of the container but as i just said the frame of the container the carrying beams of the container are too rough to drill through at least for the equipment that the guys have here so we had to just twist it a little bit and move it in a little bit closer, closer in so we will have to figure out how to close the top if you're wondering how much a door like this costs it's about two meters 40, 40. high and about how many meters wide? 2.5 meters, 2.3 meters wide with a toned glass. It's a slight, slight fix, fix that it costs 10,000 peso, which is roughly uh, $200, $200 around, something around that, which less, yeah. we found quite reasonable because taking into account that they're made right here on the island. We hang a hammock for us when we have a lunch break so we can just sleep, but then we realized that it's a bit too high, so the only thing I can just do now is maybe... Dead meat. <laughs> be a dead meat, yeah, <laughs> so... Uh, but you can move it wherever you want to and we can hang it in between the trees, so we just keep it here right now, just like that. And what about this part? And we have a huge hole here. First thing that the team has done here is we have cut the window opening for the big window coming and we did it with the grinder well they did it because i'm just here talking and explaining all the things and i'm just completely irrelevant actually <laughs> but they cut it with a hand grinder and a steel cutting discs wheel. Yeah. steel cutting wheel it took about this is quite a huge hole it took about so one and a half hour for the guy to cut it by hand and we realized that the grinder is the most reasonable way to do it and also the cheapest way because if you would use a flame torch or acetylene cutter it provides a very rough cut, very it's, uneven it's, cut. I think it's a bit faster but then it's, it's faster, it's uh, faster but it's more expensive it's and it's quite messy. So the hand grinder works really well for cutting the openings. But in the next coming videos we will show you the process of cutting the, this window but yeah, right now we cannot show you because this was cut last week when we didn't have camera with us and not uh, the camera, but the batteries were not charged because we had our charger exploded. But let's move further. Oh, <laughs> see, I was just chilling, sorry. So come, come, come. We have a toilet in the making. Check this out, guys. The only thing missing here right now is just the roof 
and the toilet seat and you're good to go actually this one is already guided connected to the septic tank right on the right side of me and this around you can see the bamboo uh, while you're gonna probably comment that you know you can see through but we're working on working on that as well because we're gonna place smaller bamboos in the opening so you really can't see through uh, but it's still jungle feeling it's you know it's kind of a jungle There's feeling the whole point of, uh, yeah so it's gonna be fine <laughs> but uh, what we wanted to do is what the team wanted to do is uh, make the flooring natural so on top of these rocks they're gonna just place a coco lumber wooden plates like that or a cement plates like that like slopes to make a couple of steps to the shower here to the sink here and the toilet over here and then we're just gonna place the door in the opening and place a transparent roof what do you think about the bathroom let us know we really love the bamboo idea and the business owner was really happy that we suggested this so uh, she even went with it so <laughs> that's cool if, if you're wondering how are we treating the bamboos uh, what the guys did, they basically shaved the bamboo, clean it with the sandpaper and then here you will see that this is still like a hole so what they did, they put a silignum inside to avoid the termites but then we were thinking, okay, but well what happens if they just climb inside and start to eat the bamboo from inside because inside it's a little bit softer so for the termites it tastes better so what we are doing, what the guys are doing they are putting like a cement inside just to close the bamboo from the top as well so it's fixed and there are no entrance possible for the termites Boo Why <laughs> <laughs> do you keep filming me in these awkward moments? People just can think I'm not really, you know Another thing what we were thinking, right in the back you can see that the guys primed the whole container and after that we realized it took 4 gallons of primer which is a lot and it's quite expensive so after researching a little bit and consulting we realized that the best way is to prime in patches well this one is primed more but like the roof priming patches where you take away the rust so to save on the primer save on the time spent and just prime actually really the areas where the rust has been taken off The bamboo does not really fit the multicab because those are like six meters and a half long. So when the multicab is driving, the bamboo is just touching the asphalt, which is quite quite a view. But you gotta do what you're gonna do. And if you just take a look around, you can see that there are eight containers on the construction site. So it means that all of them have been delivered. Everybody keep. <laughs> Everybody keeps asking what's the price for a container. Oh wait, I'm gonna take the book off. Oh thank you. <laughs> My favorite part of the day. Everybody keeps asking what's the price for the container. So I can tell you that you can find a container. Oh well, that really depends first of all on your location, where you where you wanna build your house, but if you're located in such a remote area as Shrigo, that the, the delivery is gonna be issue. So the containers were ordered from Davao, where the container costs 65 to 70,000 peso per piece for a 20 footer, which is roughly $1,200. Uh, if you live anywhere in the Mindanao, that's gonna be very easy because you can transport the container by land, so that's gonna be cheap. However, if you need to transport it by sea, that prices of auto ships will add up. First one, for example, I can give you an example that a boom truck with a 20 foot container on a roto ship one way to Shergao costs 10,000 peso and then the boom truck also has to go back so that's 20,000 already only for the shipping fee not including the freight forwarder work and their cars and their stuff. So in the end computation was roughly almost the same and it ended up being around 60,000 per container per delivery so which ends up being container and the delivery being around 120 125,000 peso which is 
around 2500 US dollars or 2000 euros but I mean that was the cheapest after a long research so that's all that's it that's really it <laughs> And another thing that the guys here are working on is the roof because uh, this will be the first point of kind of like insulating the container just kind of protecting it from the direct sunlight so that the roof doesn't heat up so much so what we are doing here we are constructing a bamboo skeleton right here elevating one side one meter and then the other side about like 20 centimeters so that it's uh, a little bit like a slope so for the rain to go up and then on top we're gonna put a uh, nipa uh, that will create like an air space here for the for the wind to drop through so it wouldn't heat up so badly and it would protect from the direct sunlight so ending up so the con container wouldn't heat up that much and there wouldn't be a condensation point for the container We'll see how it looks. Right now it looks very good. The guys are moving fast, very, very good moving forward, but we'll see how it goes. The whole idea behind the project is to be as less invasive as possible. So to use natural materials such as bamboo, nipa, something that is easy to grow back and produce, like a columber, things like that, that are really available in common building, house building materials here in the Philippines and shipping containers as a second-hand repurposed material. Uh, the price of uh, bamboo is around 80 to 100 pesos per piece for good 7 meter big thick bamboo for really small ones just for decorations or filling the gaps as I said before for the bathrooms it's 20 pesos per piece. Uh, ordering in bulk I'm sure you can get some discounts on those as well if you're interested because sometimes people ask in the comments what are the prices for things? So I'm just informing you what are the prices for things. I'm a complete book addict because I caught a cold, so I'm like not feeling that great. So I just keep hydrating. Coconut juice is so good and so healthy for you. And if I'm talking about some really serious stuff, if you're traveling to tropical areas, in the rainy season make sure you have a mosquito repellent because it's the dengue season now and as it rains more you might get bitten by a mosquito dengue is a very dangerous and not a nice thing there are many children around the area that already have gotten sick so it's more threatening to children but always make sure to apply a mosquito repellent wherever you're traveling <laughs> By the way, this video is not sponsored by the brand. This video is definitely not sponsored by whatever this is. Something in Sri Lankan language that I cannot read and I have no idea what is this really. But, you know, always just use something that is not branded like this. <laughs> As you can see, the neighbors are burning something constantly. They are cleaning the lot over there. Apparently, someone's gonna build a house there as well. A house, maybe, maybe something else, I'm not sure, but they keep burning and it's kind of... Sorry guys for lack of filming, but we've been around, we've been traveling around a little bit, so we were not able to catch up on what's going on the site. Uh, but tomorrow we'll start a bit more into depth updates and the first one is gonna be the welding part and attaching tubular bars to the window holes where the window is supposed to be. Apart from that, I just want to tell you thank you for watching. Thank you for following the trip of us documenting this project development and make sure if you enjoyed this video or if you learned something at least a little bit to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to see more interesting container house videos for now or later on more travel videos as we go and travel the world. Thank you so much for watching we love you all guys and we'll see you in the next one. I'm actually, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna drive it. <laughs> I was pretending I'm gonna drive away, but in front there's just the house, so I can't.
and I, I don't know how to put it in the reverse yet, so <laughs> <laughs> sorry. 